so today I wanted to talk to you about the five biggest productivity hacks that are apps. Haps. These are the main five apps that I use. And when I say apps, I mean on the computer, so they can be Chrome extensions or programs or stuff like that. But basically the programs are apps that I use to help me with my productivity. So number one is one that I've talked about. I think I talked about it in my first uh, video ever, and it's called Boomerang. Boomerang is an add-on for Gmail, and I'm not sure if it works with other emails, but either way, it works very well for Gmail. And what it allows you to do is things. First of all, to schedule an email for later. So you can write an email now and click send, but have it sent later for whatever reason you might have. For me, the main reason is when I finish a translation and it's done and ready, but I'm still kind of, you know, I'm always a bit paranoid in case I missed something or something like that. So this gives me time, if I have time, later on maybe to revisit or look at it. But if I get engrossed in something else and I'm working on something else, then I know it'll get sent. I don't have to worry about it. It also has another great feature that lets you send emails again. So what it allows you to do is basically send an email and if the person doesn't respond, it'll send the same email two days later, four days later, whatever you want. I use this for payments. When someone doesn't pay me and I send an email saying you owe me money, then it'll automatically, if the person doesn't respond, it'll send the same email again two days later or four days later or whatever I program into it. So definitely check out Boomerang. It is a great add-on for any email program. Along those lines, and just as a quick bonus, if you use Gmail, then you have access to Inbox. It should be there at the bottom right corner somewhere. So definitely click on that. I like the, that comes automatically with Gmail, I think. Unless you do something that I use a lot, which is to basically put an email to sleep. If there's an email in my inbox, I don't want to deal with it later, but I like having my inbox clear at inbox zero, then it'll take the email out of there until a certain time, 6 p.m. or tomorrow. I don't have it clear in my inbox until then. And I almost forgot another thing about Boomerang is now they have Respondable. Now I did make another video where I talk about Respondable, so I'll just link to it here and won't waste your time talking about it now. So number two is Rescue Time. What it does is once a week it gives you an overview of what you've been doing, what you've been spending your time on, whether it be websites or what programs you've been using. You, you can give different scores and valuations to various different programs so you can see how productive you've been that week and what you've been wasting too much time on and what you've been good at. And it's a great overview of the week so that you can become more productive in the future. And it measures your time and how you've been spending your time because what gets measured gets managed. Self-control. What it does is it basically blocks out certain websites and programs for a certain amount of time. If I know I have to work on a certain translation for the next two hours, three hours, then I'll set up self-control for three hours. And what it does is it blocks Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, basically websites that I waste time on and programs that I waste time on. So you can set it up to block whatever you want. So during those two, three hours, during that time block, you can get work done. Number four is Dropbox. Now Dropbox is the one you're most likely to have heard of. I use it most often for backup. If I'm working on a translation, I've been working on it all day, but it's not finished yet, then I really get paranoid about just leaving the one and only copy on my desktop. You know, this is my work, this is my livelihood. I keep a folder in Dropbox called Work in Progress, and that's where I put my work in progress, just so I make sure I have another copy. Dropbox is basically that. You can back up whatever you want on your computer. There's a, there's a free version. There are other programs as well, in addition to Dropbox, which are basically online cloud storage programs. I don't, I use Dropbox, but you can use any one you want, see which one works best for you. But you should have some place, preferably in the cloud, where you can save all your work while you're working on it. And number five, last but not least, is Evernote. Evernote is wonderful for everything. Anytime I think of something or I have an idea or I remember something to do, I'll write it down on Evernote. Evernote also allows you to save web pages, save pictures, and a slew of other things, and it's just the easiest place to keep things so you don't have to keep them in your mind. I never trust my mind to hold on to things for too long, and so Evernote works that way. If I have something 
that I can think of or that I see or any other idea or website or whatever that I want to bookmark or save, it goes automatically on Evernote because then I have access to it on my phone, on my laptop and everywhere. It all syncs together and it's the great, greatest place to just keep track of everything so I don't have to hold it in my mind. And that's it. Those are my five hacks that are apps for productivity. These are the five apps that I use the most and that are most important to me for getting my work done. I might have missed something. If I did, feel free to let me know because I'm always interested in learning about new ways to get stuff done and stuff that can help my work life. Otherwise, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please click like. And if you want more advice, more tidbits, more tricks and stuff like that that have to do with freelancing, then click subscribe and there'll be more videos coming. Thanks. Bye. Sabedum.